Okay, so I have a couple clips here, and uh, I call them Before the Storm, because I actually shot them yesterday, and today I'm doing, uh, I'm putting everything together to make a nice little premiere. So, um, just sit back and, and enjoy the show, unless you don't, you know, then, then okay, I'm being, I'm being meowed at. Anyway, here you go. I think I just heard a raven, although I can't be sure. The quest for fauna in the winter time is always a little tricky because they're uh, all the critters are in hiding. There's a lot of land out there, though. Huh. It's kind of chilly out here. It's the sort of day where wandering around some guy's land is probably not the best idea. Because you could easily get lost and then become a popsicle. I don't want to become a popsicle. Although I like popsicles. Being one has never really been, I guess, a goal. You can see like the mountains in the background through the trees. Hey, you can see the forest for the trees. <laughs> I don't know if that was really funny or not, but I tried. I just heard a knocking in the distance. Did you hear that? Kind of went, knock. Wonder if that's a Sasquatch. Probably is. I don't know. Pretty sure they're back here. This is, uh... I guess right outside of Odd. Yes, there is a town called Odd in West Virginia. And uh, it's really not that odd. It's an average little town. But uh, all these little trees and stuff are so thick, I can't really see all that far ahead. But I can see a little bit. I don't see any, uh, any critters, though. No bunnies. No turtles. I wonder what turtles do in the winter time to hibernate. Surely they hibernate. If you know what turtles do in the winter time, let me know in the comment section below. Yeah, that'd be nice to know. Because bears, you know, they have their little caves, and bunny rabbits. Well, they don't. They don't really hibernate. They just kind of hop around and do bunny stuff. But. uh Anyway, I guess that's all for now. I can't see anything, so there's nothing to show you. So I'm just going to stop talking. This next clip, I was on a uh, a back road somewhere in the country, and uh, this was this was yesterday as well. So anyway, I hope uh, I hope you'll like it. And after this one's over, I'll uh, I'll move on with today's stuff. Ooh, snowy. I think this might be one of those roads where uh, if you're stuck at night time after dark you'll go missing and never be found. This is one of those roads where you know you got your uh, stereotypical West Virginia horror films made from you know this area. I'm not saying it's spooky out here I'm just saying ooh deer track you see that deer track Hmm. Okay, so there's evidence of wildlife. That's something. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, spooky. And, uh, you can actually see a fair distance during the day, but, uh, you know, at nighttime, it's like pitch black. You know? And, uh, I can see where being out here would not be ideal. But, uh, I guess they're keeping the path clear. There's evidence of people hacking limbs and stuff out of the way, which is nice to see. A little general maintenance does some, does some land some good. Anyway, the key to trespassing on somebody's land and wandering around roads in the middle of nowhere is when you come up on somebody... Um, 
it's important to talk fast. Hey, you know, I'm totally lost. I don't know where I am. Can you tell me how to get out of here? Because they're more than happy to tell you how to go away. And uh, talking fast is a key, and then shutting up. Just state your case. Hey, I'm lost. Sorry about that. Didn't realize where I was. Can you tell me how to get out of here? That's all you got to do. Yep. Yep. I've only been shot at twice, so it, it must be working out. Huh. Anyway, this is a gorgeous piece of land up here. It would be nice if there was some kind of uh, hunting tower or something around here. You can look down upon the hills. That would be lovely, yes. Lovely. Anyway, so there's uh, my little creepy road chat for the day. <clears throat> I'm not going to go too far down there because... Well, you just never know. <laughs> Man, that snow is really coming down. I mean, like... Seriously, man. <laughs> Shoveling snow during a snowstorm is sort of like sandbagging a beach just before high tide. <sighs> Look at that, man. Look at that coming down. I do for my scribers to try to get a shot. I tell you what, that's craziness. <laughs> where'd, where'd the truck go? Where'd the. Oh, there it is. <laughs> what is this? This is at least six or seven inches, probably. It'll be, uh. It'll be a lot more. Very soon. I better. Oh. Oh goodness, I better go in the side yard here and grab my uh, snow shovel, because I have one of those. I hope it's back here. Okay. Let's see, you got there. It goes. Oh, anyway. Oh, birdies. You guys better start to migrate, or you're going to have a rough day. There are lots and lots of birdies. You see all those birdies? Man. Okay. Yeah. You can't even see where I lifted my feet to walk. <laughs> Man. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm not really gonna do much more than that because, you know, it's just gonna be full up again. We're actually expecting about twice this amount today. They said uh, uh, 18 inches. I think we're a little better than half that right now. Ice. All right, now I have some bonus footage for you. Just me mulling around the house being weird, followed by a uh, a lovely snowy scene with some uh, some music. So, so there you have it. Enjoy the rest of the video, and um, and yeah, that's what I got. So here you go. <laughs> I snorted. So I have this friend who has a has a kid who drew me a picture. He calls this foreshadowing. Huh. Crazy kids today. There, there's a cat sitting next to a heater. See? Cat. Heater. Dot dar is the lifeblood of America.